He gave me this. A woman we know used to make them, but only for people she had strong feelings about. I was always very moved by these gestures of hers, seeing her make them. I had always wanted one, but um, what if she said no? So I couldn't ask my son, who was maybe 10, didn't know better, and he asked her to make one for me. <laughs> he gave it to me for my birthday. This was, oh, 20 years ago or so. It shows what he was like as a kid. The hardest part right now is um, that I can't see him. He's in the hospital and it's my fault. I get it. There's no room in hospitals for anyone who isn't desperately in need of medical attention. It must be terrifying. Pregnant women, it must be worst of all for them, even if they are allowed to have one person with them, to give birth in hospitals which aren't safe anymore. He's been, he'd been at his place for, uh, nine days, and I've been here for 11 days. He didn't have any symptoms. I was healthy, although I hear it can come on pretty quick. But I have high blood pressure, and obviously I'm older. We argued on the phone whether I'd get my own groceries, and he insisted on going for me, yelling at me like he's the father and I'm the son. He promised he'd go when it was dark so there'd be less people. It's still open 24 hours. I had one short call telling me he's in bad shape, but not critical. He can't talk yet. And that was yesterday. I'm climbing up the walls because I can't get through. They're overwhelmed. It, it, normally, I'd go right over to the hospital and demand to see him, but not with this. There are guards at every entrance. It was a cop who called me. The officer said he was staggering towards Broadway when they spotted him. I wish they'd seen him sooner, but God bless them all for being out there right now. God bless the police, the firemen, the EMTs, the doctors, the nurses, and yes, the grocery store people. He'd been badly beaten up. The cop said that before he passed out, he managed to whisper that They'd been screaming at him that he didn't belong here and it was all his fault. It's incomprehensible that even today there are people on the street who get enraged when they see someone Asian and start screaming about the Chinese virus and blaming people. They'd rather get blood on them then keep a safe distance. There's always been racism. I had to deal with it a lot growing up, though now it's usually more subtle. But this, this is an evil that is spreading just like the virus. Or maybe was revealed because of the virus. So I'm waiting. I have to hope that they're not calling because he's okay and they're just busy with other people. If, if he were really bad, they'd call so I could be there before... He's... 
he's going to be fine. When he gave me this, he um, made his own card for it. I lost the card. But, um, I remember what it said. Shaky lettering and all. For Daddy, my guardian angel. And what I want most right now is for this angel to be with him.